playing through and beating the Boolean game will help reinforce your understanding of additive and subtractive transformation, as well as equip you to use the Pathfinder tools in Adobe Illustrator. There are four tools down here at the bottom of the Boolean game that directly correspond to the four Pathfinder tools in Illustrator. In Illustrator, they're called Unite, Minus Front, Intersect, and Exclude. Uh, in the game, they're called Union, Subtract, Intersect, and Difference. The beginning stages are subdivided by which Pathfinder tool you'll be using. So here we're going to need a Unite function. I'm going to put my square in place, my triangle in place, and push Union. Woo! Beat the level. Uh, I can see here again what I need to do. And Union. Oh, and now we have a new Pathfinder tool in action. Remember, just like in Illustrator, uh, the subtraction always subtracts what's on top from what's on bottom. So if I want to keep the crescent, I need to put down what will be the crescent first, and then the subtractive shape on top of that, and push subtract. Yay. Ooh, now we're getting complex. I can put this one on here. I can add this and subtract. And I can add the triangle and subtract. Subtract always subtracts everything that's on top from what's on the very, very bottom. So make sure you put the controller on the bottom. And then we can subtract all of these. Or here we're having to start to use multiple pathfinders on the same problem. So the very first thing I'm going to do is build my cloud shape, unite them, then add my arrow and subtract it. Unlike the Bezier game, you can't use Command-Z, you can't undo in this game. You can restart. You can see the uh, little repeat arrow up here. There's also a uh, really intense visibility mode where if you forget what you're supposed to be working on, you can go and click on that and uh, see kind of the objective again. So, uh-oh. So for this one, I only want to keep what they have in common, and that's called intersect. Was it wrong, though? Looks right to me. All right, well, we'll repeat it. This is a really good time to say that the game is not perfect, and sometimes it has little glitches and you might have to repeat. Okay, well, it worked that time. For this one, I'm going to do an intersection. Then I'm going to add this and do another intersection, because really what I need is this shield shape here. What do I need on this one? I need to perhaps get what they have in common first, intersect. Then I need to use that to uh, subtract from the top, but I need it. I need to perform a minus front function, so I need to get this on top of this. So I actually have to pull this out first, put this in, and then put this back on top, because the subtraction function always subtracts what's on top from what's on bottom. 
glorious. Looks like on this one we have an opportunity to use the exclude, so that will eliminate only what they have in common. Instead of keeping what they have in common, it will get rid of what they have in common. So the only place they have in common at this moment is this moment of overlap. So we should do difference here. And that gives us what we need. So I don't want to show you the whole game. I think it's really important for you to experiment and work your way through this. I am going to jump to some of the final stages in a subsequent video and show you some of the more frustrating or like, hey, that wasn't fair type stages that kind of come at the very end. Uh, good luck with the Boolean game.